If you had to choose between a Disney World vacation or a Disney Cruise vacation, which one would you take? In this video, we'll be doing both at the same time. We'll compare the treats, the activities, the rides, and more. Whoever planned the best vacation wins. Starting with me at Disney World. We are starting off our trip at Walt Disney World Resort at Magic Kingdom. So we just parked the car in the parking lot and we're about to take the monorail over to the park. Listen, it doesn't matter where you are or who you are, you're gonna wait in line on a Disney cruise. I'm just saying, you're gonna wait in line somewhere. It's gonna happen. Yeah, baby. It's been quite a morning in the Griffin household, but I was able to reserve Genie Plus. Um, so we're gonna get access to some lightning lanes and I've already booked my first experience and that's at Pirates, which is expiring in 20 minutes. So we gotta hurry. How you doing, mama? Great. I'm just saying this is smooth sailing so far on our end. We now have nine minutes to get to Pirates. This is kind of stressful. Pretty smooth boarding process so far. All right, so I'm so excited. Noah, are you excited, baby? All right, Noah, so this is your first Disney cruise, okay? Disney Wish, it's one of the newest cruises. All right. Like, technically, you can come and not do the Genie Plus, but I feel like there are just so many rides and the parks have been so crowded lately that I felt that I had to pay to get lightning in access. Yeah, I feel like a lot of things can go wrong too, so you gotta follow through that time frame. Yeah, so we gotta run to Pirates, and then I've also already booked Little Mermaid, and I did get a virtual queue for Tron. So stay tuned on that, because obviously this little one can't ride Tron, but we certainly can, so. But I'm we're at Disney World. We're at Disney. Look at that, there's bubbles. I smell popcorn. <gasps> oh, let's go. A Me, you, and that family right there that's watching this show here, we're all gonna go inside those Mickey ears. You guys are gonna come along, all right? We made it! It's 11.55. <laughs> Let's go ride. Oh, yeah, baby! You get a toy! You can have it. It's yours. Wow! So let's go get something to eat before they shut down. That's something really cool about getting on a Disney cruise. Everything's pretty much already included. So we're just gonna show up, get some food, and go from there. That's a lot of people, y'all. Woo! It is a Thursday. It's not even a Saturday. It's not even the summer. Or technically spring break yet. So it's busy. Already running into characters, guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sweetheart, you are just too stunned to speak, huh? You guys do the Mickey Mouse Playhouse. Oh, there it is. It's delayed. You. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> this is the opposite of relaxing. I'm I'm having fun, but it's not relaxing. It's actually kind of stressful. Noah is having a great time, and I am loving going on all of these rides with her. So we're about to go on Dumbo, which is a classic, iconic ride here at Magic Kingdom. And Noah has been on this before, and I think she really liked it. So hopefully she likes it this time. Let's ride Dumbo. All right, everybody. So we are headed to Arendelle's castle. It is home of Princess Anna. Uh, no longer Elsa, technically, right? But hey, this place is really cool. Okay, so what do you want to order? Get? I'm thinking salmon. the grilled salmon salad. Okay. Same thing, but can I get it with no tomatoes? It is lunchtime here at the park. Um, they have so many options for food. They have quick service, they have sit down restaurants, some that you need reservations for, some that you don't. But we decided this time that we we're going to bring our own food for lunch because sometimes y'all, it can get a little pricey. It can get a little pricey. Especially if you're gonna eat every single meal either at a park or resort. So I'm talking about hundreds of dollars and um, your girl's on a budget. So we brought our own lunches for today, but we will be having dinner somewhere else. All right, so what do you think about this restaurant being included in the cost? Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty nice. There's one less thing I have to worry about and budget for because it's already included. So I just left Colin and Noah behind. We did rider swap, so I can ride Tron first through the virtual queue lane, and then Colin can go through the lightning lane. So I'm interested to see how long it actually takes because there's no actual queue for Tron, it's all virtual queue. So um, it's 127 right now. 
and we'll see how long it takes for me to get on the ride. So Tron has lockers. If you have bigger items, they'll just put them in there for free and then head on to the ride. Since I don't have a large bag, I don't have to stop at the lockers and I can go right to the ride. Okay, so can you talk about the menu a little bit for kids? They had burgers, fries, chicken strips, grilled chicken, um, french fries, also some veggies. So pretty standard stuff. Noah decided to go with the burger bowl. Personally, I decided to go with the salmon salad. I'm not saying I'm gonna be watching my weight this entire cruise. That's not what I'm saying at all. But what I am saying is that staying light on my feet for the first day to get ready for a fantastic feast tonight. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for that because we got something special for you guys. All right, Noah, this is totally fine. That Sunday is yours. You'll be able to handle it. <laughs> oh, she can't have sugar yet, y'all. Wow. Wow. That's all I have to say. That's only my second time being on that ride, but it's super, super fun. I wish I could ride it more than one time a day without paying extra for it. Of course, I have no words. It's just really fast and it's really fun. Hi, Nova. Aw, I was hoping to catch you. Aw, you didn't hear me screaming? Yeah, I, I screamed like so loud. I was kind of in the middle. Uh, yeah. Did you have fun with Dad, Dad? Yeah. Well, it's your turn. All right, let's do it. All right. You get to hang out with mama. All right, daddy daughter vacation, high five. Cool, you left me hanging. Guys, we're in 6012. Um, that is our stateroom cabin, it is, it is gonna be fun. Oh, I should probably get the cards, you know? So let's do that. Now listen, your boy's in full daddy mode. I'm sure parents understand, but sometimes your baby just wants to be held no matter what. And that requires you to do multitasking. Um, so Noah, you wanna hold this for me, baby? Thank you. All right, let's go in. Let's check this out. As much fun as we're having here at the park, it's about time for us to head out and go check in at the resort. And we're gonna eat dinner over at the resort. And then we might head back this direction for fireworks. So busy, busy day, but um, I think overall it's been a lot of fun. We've gotten a lot of things done. All right, all right. So most of you may have seen a cabin like this before. And you can see is an ocean view cabin. It's got a nice little, I guess technically king size mattress, right? All right, so this cabin costs about this much. So that you have an idea of how much it costs. Noah, I'm gonna need you to get a job, sweetheart. Um, no, I really like the amount of space in here. We stayed in a cabin similar on the Wish, but last time it was a balcony cabin. So you wanna check out that video. It's right here, it's the very first sailing. So I'm excited to see what this is like a year later after we went. And now what's really cool about this cabin it's actually the bathroom. We got a bathtub, y'all. Bathtub! Welcome home to Port Orleans Riverside. This is where we will be staying for the next two nights, and we will have plenty of time to explore this beautiful resort. I'm gonna use my little bathroom. Let's go in. Whoa! Look at this place! Is this our Disney room? Wow, this is a royal room for sure. We've got all the princes on the wall and all the other princesses over here. Wow, do you love it? This is really neat, a nice little curtain. There we go. This is, this is nice. Bathroom. All right, team, so it's got the tub here, which I really appreciate, but the signature scents, guys. All right moms, dads, guardians, as you can see, there's ample space for like a pack and play. You can see where they end up putting something like that. My, my, I feel like royalty. Wow. They gave us a little Mickey towel. I would say hidden Mickey, but it's not very hidden. It's faucets, y'all. So cool. Also, 10 points for anybody that can name what movie this is from. Y'all, I found a hidden button. so cool i'm just excited about the space we have in this room if you have a large family and i don't know maybe you guys have a lot of stuff i appreciate the underneath storage to open up the space of the room entirely but overall uh, i think me and noah are gonna have a good time here with a little family vacation dad is daddy planning the best vacation 
Anyone else always watching your kids, making sure they don't do something? <laughs> Vacation! However, as I am inspecting the room, finding places to charge my things, I have noticed that there are no USB plugs, which is very unfortunate because that's all of the things that I have. I don't know if I have anything that plugs directly into the wall. The video ends here. Looks like a little girl loves the cruise life so far. I love that. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Noah. You like cruises? <laughs> yeah, someone likes cruises. Master Station slash a bunch of other things. I don't actually know what we're about to do. All right, so mustard drill, a little bit outdated here on Disney Cruise Line. Just gonna throw that out there. Usually you watch it from the comfort of your stateroom, watch a video, you do an app. But here, it is old school. You do it in person. <laughs> First, we're about to get dinner at Boat Rights, which is inside of this property. So we are gonna not get hit by a car and we're gonna go eat some Cajun food for dinner. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Come Noah, come Noah. Alright guys, we are sailing away right now. I just wanted to show you guys the views real quick. We're also headed to dinner in 1923. Um, but look at that. Just Look at the views. Okay, so I briefly mentioned that this restaurant is Cajun style. Um, they have a lot of yummy looking things on the menu. Um, and so I think I'm going to order, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna order, but I know I'm going to order Noah some fish, some grilled fish and some vegetables. And maybe if she doesn't eat all of it, I'll eat some, but there's also boudin balls, which I'm quite a fan of. So we're gonna order some of those for sure. Um, and then we'll just see where the evening takes us. So we are headed to 1923 for dinner. We are all family color coordinated up. Outfits by Alyssa. Let's do this thing. This is Noah's kids meal. So it came with green beans, um, potatoes, and grilled salmon. Um, actually, it was a little piece about this big. Obviously, I started cutting into it because this one is hungry. What do you think, Boo Boo? You like the olive bread? Like the olive bread. Guys, so we have ordered dinner. I got a filet steak. Some duck confit. She has the codfish. And these are the very pretty boudin balls. With spicy peppers. That looks spicy. It doesn't look like it's got a little bit of a kick on it. Not gonna lie. You wanna dive in? I do. Oh, there's a little kick to it. Mm -hmm. I was waiting for the kick. No. It's there. It's there. So very tasty. Alright guys, I got the duck. And Noah got the codfish nuggets. These are guys, these are pretty good. Not gonna lie, pretty good. And I just ordered a side of shrimp for myself because I knew that I would be finishing Noah's food and um, she's eating all of my shrimp. It's actually very good. And I'm eating her salmon. I'm in my mom era, guys. <laughs> this is just my life now. And I got the seared ahi tuna. This, the presentation looks pretty good, guys. All right, steak test. That looks good. It's nice and medium. We're a little sleepy, huh? But we made it back to the park. How are you doing? I'm doing good. This yawn is just kickstarting an amazing night at Magic Kingdom. Getting my second win, I promise. Okay, great. It's uh, 7.05 and our last lightning lane that we have reserved for the night, for now, um, we're gonna meet Mickey. We have 15 minutes before that one ends, so we're really, cutting it close in all of these lightning lanes, but you know what? I think we did a very good job. I just gotta say. Okay, so we're gonna go meet Mickey, because Noah loves Mickey. And then, I think um, I want some Dole Whip. Ooh, Dole Whip sounds like a nice treat. I don't remember seeing any Dole Whip on the cruise. It's there, but you gotta pay for it. I mean, you gotta pay for it here, but you have to pay for it on the ship. You gotta pay for it. You just gotta pay for it. You gotta pay for all the things here. You gonna pay for the Dole Whip. All the things. Right so much can. money. All right, guys, we're about to go to a show and uh, we're gonna put these cameras away because I'm not sure they're allowed. And 
you have fun? Is that a good show? Thank you. Does she have $12 for two Dole Whips, but worth it. So I came up to get some water um, and I forgot to show you guys that they played movies at night by the pool. And it's all Disney movies, which, duh, but it's just a special touch. I mean, I appreciate it. I grew up on watching Disney shows and stuff. I don't know, I'm just so nostalgic. Just thought I'd share. Good morning, everyone. It is day two on the cruise. We're chilling. And Alyssa is currently getting baby girl here ready for the day. Good morning. It is day two of our Walt Disney World Resort vacation. And Noah, Noah, are you ready to do some Disney stuff? <gasps> Noah, Dad is talking to you. No. Oh, yay. All right. Let's go get some little pancakes <gasps> and some little Mickey waffles. Mickey waffles. Let's do it. We're having a little bit of breakfast in our room. I mentioned earlier that we packed some food to save a little bit of money for, to save a little bit of money on food because everything is, everything can add up and be a little expensive. Um, I know a lot of you fly in, so you don't necessarily have access to grocery shopping. So there are two options for breakfast for you. One, you can actually have groceries delivered to your resort if that is an option that you are looking to do. Also, two, tomorrow we're going to show you a great place to have breakfast here at the resort. So we're going to finish our food here and then get on the bus and go to Animal Kingdom. Hello. Guys, so right now the view outside is amazing. Look at this. Is that jazz music playing? So right now we're waiting on mom. She's got the Mickey waffles for the little one here. And we found a nice spot out here. So the time is about like nine o'clock. My, my clock's off for some reason, but it's like nine. So, but look at the views. I just packed us some overnight oats, super easy, full of protein, some berries. And then these are our lunches that I am bringing to the parks today. We got some sandwiches. I'll just show you all that later. So what do you think about the vacation so far? Huh? Um, it's pretty nice. Did, did, did daddy do a good job? I that works too. Yeah, I'll take that. Let's do it. All right. So we got a big family breakfast here. Um, Mickey waffles, tomatoes, bacon, croissants, fresh fruit. I got something called congee. It's from Mulan, if you remember in the movie. She made that like little egg dish. I thought you said Colin G. Nope. Congee. <laughs> That's oh, funny. Like, what? That's a little mom joke there. I love I that. Really <laughs> This is from um, Frozen. I remember this and I, I like it. It's like a little pre-dish that they have, a little appetizer. So, love the reflection here. The day is beautiful. So, I'm gonna eat this breakfast, not all of it. I did one of those dad moves where you just get as much as you can that you know your family's gonna eat all in one setting. Kind of limit the use of plates. I don't know why I'm sharing that with you guys, but. We are finally about to enter Animal Kingdom, y'all. It is 9.36. I wanted to be here at like eight o'clock, but you know what? That's okay. We're a wee bit off plan. A little bit. Um, it was very convenient to take the bus from the resort over to Animal Kingdom. It took a little bit of time. We had a little poopy situation, but you know. That's right. It's life. I yeah. forgot to bring my diaper. It was cold. Uh, we grabbed some coffee at the Joffrey's right here at the entrance, and now we're going to go in and head to the safari. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. You want to get a picture? And then we're in the queue. All right, so it looks like the princesses have showed up, everybody. So they're all down there. Looks like Tiana, Belle, Moana. Um, oh my god, I'm growing, I'm drawing a blank. I keep saying Tangled, it's Rapunzel, my bad. Oh, Cinderella's down there too. Remain seated at all times. Giraffes, those tongues of theirs are a bluish purple in color. Five miles away. The 
All right, guys, so we're headed to the top pool deck, as you can see, and they have Frozen playing right now. So that's kind of nice. And we're gonna hang out at the spot. Splash pad. Looks like a couple of pool areas are closed, though. Thanks. And a group of cheetahs is called a coalition. All right, so something that we noticed is that there's more room on Disney Cruise. So the lines are shorter because naturally there's not, you know, a thousand people at the park. So there is that observation. Well, I guess the rocking of the safari car, bus, train, knocked her out. So, and the hour wait that we had to wait in line, but she did get to see some of the yeah, animals. Some stuff. Um, I saw all of the animals, so I thought it was really neat to see a giraffe and a rhino and an elephant and all the, uh, we saw a lion? Yeah, you got us there. I'll, I'll be honest, you're probably not gonna see a lion on a cruise ship. Uh, I hope not. You might see a tigger though. Oh, that's so all right, so Noah had a fantastic time at the Toy Story Splash Zone. Highly recommend, but now we're back on the pool deck watching some movies. Frozen is playing, and uh, I think we might grab some lunch later, but stay tuned because this is just getting started with things to do on Disney. Oh, gee, that's too bad. Guess I gotta do a solo. I could have a ton of ass. I could have a ton of ass. What do you do? Well, he snaps. Sorry. I think that goes without saying that everybody enjoyed the show. Noah loved it. She yeah. was clapping and pointing and ooh and saying she wanted more. And that was a good show. It was great. Actually, I don't remember like the monkey scene. Like I knew that they like did like acrobat kind of stuff, but I just like trampolines. But I don't know. I thought that part was really cool. <laughs> ten ten good. Yeah, I thought it was an amazing show. So we are going to find somewhere to eat lunch. Does that sound good? Okay, and then planner. yeah and then we're gonna head over to epcot because they're having the flower garden festival right now yeah and so uh let's check that out and see what that's about i heard there's lots of like food and topiaries and all the fun things so we're gonna spend the afternoon over there all right team so i went ahead and got some barbecue it's kind of like uh polite pigs closest comparison from like downtown disney but i got some pulled pork some chicken some ribs uh, not a brisket, but like a pastrami or peppercorn. I forget what it's called. This is pretty good. Um, it'll it'll do. I tell you that. So mac and cheese, pickles, sausage, chicken. So I say like eight, eight ten. So here's the plan. We're gonna get some room service, which is included, by the way, for those that did not know. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes. And then the plan is to uh, clean off and go to dinner. We have dinner at Marvel today. So uh, I hear the show is new. The last time we came, it was Marvel's Ant-Man, and now it's gonna be Marvel's Spider-Man. I don't know. We'll see. These are just so impressive. Like, the thought the planning. I know nothing about flowers or anything that's green. So this is just like mind blowing to me and it's absolutely beautiful. How do they make her biceps grow like that? <laughs> I don't know. That miracle grow. Miracle grow, oh my gosh. Being around the world here at Epcot trying to find uh, a little kitchen that we can um, taste some of the food at. Uh, we're all the way in Italy about to come into America and we haven't really found anything that we wanted yet so hopefully we see something up here maybe like France they usually have some pretty fun things to taste but we're also just enjoying the, the topiaries and the scenery okay guys it's another theme night tonight it's pirate night so we are dressed up as pirates aka Alyssa <laughs> well, <laughs> well typically well they hand out like bandana so I'm curious to see if that's gonna be in the room after dinner but we're heard we're headed to Marvel and we'll go from there stopped in France and I knew they would come in clutch there is a goat cheese croissant and it smells so good and I couldn't come to Epcot without getting 
some alcohol. So this is a raspberry cocktail. Essentially, it is sparkling wine and just raspberry syrup. So good. It's kind of like a raspberry mimosa, if you will. So let me dig in to this croissant. This croissant is stuffed with goat cheese. And it is amazing. If you like goat cheese, especially like warm goat cheese, All right, family, so right now we are in to Marvel and we meet our friends here from last night. We're gonna get some dinner. All of these activities are included in our stay here besides the ones that have little dollar signs. So Mickey tie-dye, arts and crafts, all that fun stuff um, you have to pay extra for, but um, the campfire and the movies are free. So that's cool, Noah. You see the horse? <gasps> What's a horse say? We are going to do some s'mores here. They gave us six marshmallows. So Alyssa's, Alyssa's things just started going off, which is kind of neat. But it looks like this show's about to start. Get ready, baby. Let's do it. Now this is a perfectly roasted marshmallow. Oh, wow. I need to breathe, find my chi. I just need 15 minutes. Hi, I'm Scott Lang, um, but you might know me as Ant-Man. And I am Ben Dunn. So that was a really nice experience. I will say, be prepared, as the, everything Disney, be prepared to wait. To wait? Um, because it, we started trying to get the boat an hour ago and we're just now getting to Disney Springs. So especially around dinner time and a weekend, I would just say plan ahead, plan to wait. Um, this one down here was not very patient. Oh yeah, and, she's cooked. And it's now 7.30. I honestly was thinking we'd be here an hour ago, but that's kind of like the theme of this whole trip. <laughs> I was planning on being somewhere at least an hour or two in advance and it just doesn't work out for me. So we're gonna try to find something to eat and then go shopping. Shopping! Shop. All right guys, so they brought Noah here some barbecue chicken, some corn, some fruit, and some sweet potatoes. And they brought me a bao bun and some shrimp. We came all the way over to Polite Pig. It's one of our very favorite restaurants here at Disney Springs. It's usually very quick. The food is really good and it's pretty affordable. Um, unfortunately, the line is super long. So we actually ended up placing a to-go order, bypass the entire line. It only took less than 10 minutes and we got it all right here. So. We're gonna go find a spot to eat this, I think, and then we're gonna go into World of Disney and see if we can get Noah a little toy. We're gonna eat this food and let you know how it tastes. All right, so the food has arrived. It is good. Noah is still smashing her food. That's right. And Alyssa's here. I found a place to sit over, actually right outside of World of Disney. There's two chairs. We're gonna have a nice little candlelight picnic here. We got mac and cheese, which looks really good. Um, chicken, brisket, turkey, <coughs> coleslaw, cornbread, sausage, pulled pork, and cauliflower. <coughs> Are you hungry? We ended up getting the butcher board. It was $45. We added the turkey, which was an additional $5. And after my annual pass discount, it was $47. So not too bad. It was actually $30 less than our dinner last night. And it's like a nice full like sampler platter. You got a little taste of everything. <laughs> Yay, say hi. Let's go see some fireworks, everybody. A fun free activity to do at your Walt Disney World Resort vacation. Watch a Disney movie. Yeah. And watch the horse-drawn carriages go by. This is so nice. That is pretty cool. It's kind of peaceful out here. It was a pleasant surprise to see the horses. 
Oh yeah, you didn't know, huh? Nuh-uh. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I'll tell you where horses are. They're on the cruise ship. <laughs> Not typically. <laughs> Not typically. <laughs> Well, a beautiful good morning here from Walt Disney World Resort. We are still here at Port Orleans Riverside. We are walking to get some breakfast because honestly, you can't stay at a Walt Disney World Resort and not get Mickey Waffles. Am I right? Yeah, you can. No, you can't. You can't. Um, obviously, we have to pay for the breakfast um, because it is not included in your stay. But um, we are going to grab some Mickey Waffles. This little girl will be super happy. This little girl will be super happy. And um, we'll get our day started here at the resort. All right, guys, we found a nice spot here. Plenty of places to sit here at Castaway Key. What I saw earlier, I might go show you guys, but there was a basketball, like, in the shade game, kind of like arcade games. So, I don't know, maybe I'll go check that out with you guys. But um, right now, you can see, Moana is all milked out. <laughs> oh, man. Got some Mickey waffles for Noah. Mommy is going to split with um, some potato barrels, some fruit. And um, I got these, what are supposed to be Mickey shaped, which I guess they kind of are. Mickey shaped frittatas. So you can have some eggs. Now the baby's happy. All right guys, weather is kind of questionable, so we might dip out of here soon. But for the most part, it has been a really, really good trip. So I think we're gonna go change Noah's clothes, get some more family photos, and bring you guys along. Woo! This place is packed, y'all. It is um, 11.30 and uh, there were only chairs available in the hot tub area. So we grabbed some chairs. We're going to go over to the baby pool and cool off for a little bit. And um, yeah, we're going to have some fun. Noah loves the water, so. She's so excited, huh? Yeah, let's go to the pool. We're having so much fun here in the pools. Noah just absolutely loves the water and it's really nice that she's able to go into the pools, all of the pools, um, especially cons considering she has to wear a swim diaper. Um, I do know on cruise ships, she's not allowed on in any pools unless she's body trained. So that's kind of like a nice thing for babies that love to swim. She's really sad because we left the pool, but I promised her we're going to another pool. She doesn't get it, but. We're about to go over to the French Quarter side, check out the pool over there, and then eat some Mickey beignets. I heard they're amazing. Bye. So, this is included in a cruise. I'm just saying. I don't know. Let us know who you think is winning right now. Um, Daddy's vacation or Mom's vacation. But a little secret between you and me. She planned this one too. All right, we got our beignets. We got three of them. They're very hot, which is nice because that means they're super fresh. Um, they're also very messy, and I pulled one out already, and I got powdered sugar all over them. Oh, you made it rain. I did. Powder explosion. <laughs> I did. Oh, what? Let's eat them here. Okay, the there's, there's a bike coming, honey. I mean, I was going to keep walking, but I guess she's... No one's asleep. Okay. So I was trying to hurry back to the pool, but I guess we can just eat them here, and then... Um, Go back to the pool. Maybe she'll wake up by then, but. All right, so I said I'd go check out this in the shade. Um, it's mainly for, well, I see some adults playing here, guys, but we're not gonna play. We're just gonna show you guys what it looks like. So check that out. People are playing like chess and, oh, I guess that's technically checkers, but there's some basketball back there too. So check. All right, so I'm just gonna take you guys with me and get some food. Got some barbecue chips here, some fruit, some coleslaw, a grilled sweet corn salad, macaroni and cheese pasta. I'm gonna grab a bunch of food for the family and grab that, but I do have a bunch of options. Ribs, chicken, uh, vegetables, a bunch of macaroni and sides. So like, you've got options and it is included here at Cookies Barbecue. Going in. Mm. 
Probably should have got six of these. <laughs> we did so many things on our Disney vacation, but never knew that Disney had so many options for adults. However, something caught me by surprise, and if you want to see it, go check out our next video where we compare a Disney cruise to the adults-only cruise line, Virgin Voyages.